Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So this week I am filming in Queenstown. I have taken the week off from work and um, taken a week to go skiing, which is one of my favorite passions. And this is actually the first time I've ever been to, Queen, uh, to New Zealand and I am blown away by how beautiful it is, um, how nice the people are, um, the scenery, the, the food and wine is just absolutely de delicious. And um, I definitely am coming back here again because it's been amazing and the skiing has been so much fun. Anyway, um, I will be doing another video showing you inside the place that I'm staying because it's gorgeous and very homely and very luxurious and having a very a great time here. But this video is, I guess, a second version of how to wake up early and be efficient. Recently, I've had a lot of trouble um, getting out of bed as early as I used to, um, which is normally around 5 a.m. And it's really made me have a look at what I'm doing wrong, what excuses am I coming up with, and what's stopping me from, from getting up so early, because I love getting up early. I have such a, I have a better day when I wake up early, because I just get so much stuff, more stuff done, and I feel better about myself. So I've come up with some more tips, um, which I guess is like, so this is sort of part two of how to get up early and be efficient. And I thought this would be um, good to share with you if you're someone who enjoys the benefits of getting up early and um, is maybe falling into similar traps that I've been falling into in coming up with these excuses. My first tip is, it actually kind of goes against the quality of a, of a good night's sleep and that's actually to turn the heating up in the room. So whether it be having the heating on or having an extra blanket. And the reason why is when you wake up and you feel hot, you feel hot and bothered and you'll kick the blankets off and even you might just stand up to, and walk around just to, to cool off. You're more likely to want to get out of bed because you can't actually fall asleep when you're feeling warm. Um, and that's something I find really helpful for me. Um, the next thing is have a list of things that you know you want to do that you're looking forward to doing in the morning. Whether that be, you know, something like, you know, checking your email or whether that be, you know, going for a walk with your um, friends or going for meeting someone for an early coffee or a walk with your dogs. Have things that you enjoy doing that you're looking forward to so you feel a lot more motivated to, to jump out of bed and start the day. The third tip is to keep your alarm clock um, out of the room. So you have to actually get out of bed just to turn that alarm off. And once you're up and walking around, you sort of think, oh, well, I'm up now, I may as well keep going. And um, don't have some sort of very gentle, um, harmonious um, ringtone alarm on your phone or alarm clock. Have something that's quite loud and aggressive so it's just torturous to the ears and it forces you to get out of bed and quickly turn off that alarm clock as quickly as possible which will really wake you up. Fourth tip is to focus on the benefits of getting up early. I, I, you know, especially this is really important for me on Monday mornings when I go for a run and a swim down to Bondi Beach. With winter coming and it getting colder and darker, you know, it's very easy to come up with lots of excuses. But when I focus on the how good I feel after I've done this, you know, I feel I feel quite exhausted, but I feel exhilarated. I feel awake, invigorated, refreshed. Um, that's normally enough for, to help me stop making excuses and just get up and out of bed and start the day. <laughs> My fifth and final tip for how to wake up early and be efficient is simply stay in bed. Just because you're waking up early doesn't mean you necessarily need to get out of bed. There's so many things you can actually do in bed that, you know, still make your day just as efficient. And it might be something as simple as checking your emails, doing internet banking, um, you know, checking sort of any social media accounts if you work in, in marketing, brainstorming business ideas or job ideas. Um, you know, there's so many different things you can do from your bed. Even what I sometimes do is I st might wake up at 5 a.m. but I'll lie there and do half an hour's worth of meditation or visualization work or do some positive affirmations. These are all things that really help, um, you know, my day go by, you know, a bit lot more enjoyably, a lot more efficiently, and I just, I feel a lot more, I guess, content and happy um, come the end of the day. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing you uh, doing a video showing you the hotel that I'm staying at and the amazing view from Queenstown because it's just absolutely breathtaking. But I hope you're having a great week. If you haven't already, please make sure you sub subscribe and feel free to share any of my videos with any family or friends that you think might help. I'll see you next week. Ciao.